What is up my readers of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay so today guys I want to talk to you all about is the Black Ops reboot for the next Call of Duty game so the rumours going about is that Treyarch is the developing the next Call of Duty game. So some articles have actually posted stating that both Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games couldn't work together and now Treyarch have stepped in and are going to be working on it. However, both Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games are going to be support developers. This means then that Treyarch being the main and lead developers, it will be their game leading us into a Black Ops reboot. Now all this is just rumours as of now, so maybe around late April, maybe even early May, we'll probably get more information about the game. So seemingly the campaign is going to be focused on real life events based on the Cold War and the Vietnam War. Also there will be iconic characters coming back, for example Woods, Mason, Bowman, uh, maybe Hudson, uh, Menendez maybe uh Rezanov, even you never really know however just like modern warfare the voice actors may or may not be coming back and there may be different ones and they probably won't be the same so woods may not be the same person as they had for the last few games in activision's call for their quarterly uh their first quarter or one of their quarters they actually said that call of duty 2020 is creating excitement within the playtests which could easily be something that they're just saying to keep their stockholders happy and kind of invest more money into it in activision's uh defense i can say that it could be like it could be really really good or they could just literally just be saying that just for the stockholders which i'm kind of leading towards more it's to make the stockholders happy because we didn't really hear much of this in in last year about modern warfare so you know just take it with a grain of salt so the kill streaks are going to be your typical ones from both the first and second black ops games uav and counter uavs they're just going to be the normal ones that are always in it uh the dogs maybe even a blackbird or a v sat like in black ops 2 similarly a bomber plane and a flamethrower which seems actually pretty cool if if the rumors are true that a bomber plane and a flamethrower person would be really really cool uh ground war in this supposed game will be 32 v 32 just like in modern warfare and i actually don't like that there's this many people but that's just me you know people do like it if they like it they like it i personally won't be playing it. i don't think i've ever played it. i think i've played two games of ground war in modern warfare and that is it nothing else and for all the die hard zombie fans this game mode will be making a return and it won't be like the old one where you went through some weird stuff like dimensions and it may even have its own battle pass so the story of zombies will be based in vietnam that kind of year and it'll be more grounded and probably won't be to have the likes of perks or big giant robots or even the likes of ray guns or the wonder waffle wonder waffle i think that's how you said could be gone as well these may or may not be in the game you don't really know until these are basically confirmed so both alex mason and frank woods will both be returning and it won't be a black ops game without these two and they will actually be voiced by different people and will tell a different story and some things from Black Ops and Black Ops 2 could be in the story as well. With Black Ops 4 having no campaign, they could easily take certain things from that and put into this game, which wouldn't really be too bad and I could kind of see them doing this, reusing some maybe uh, sprites or models or something like that just to do it. If this is actually true, it really really be so good because i've loved black ops 1 and i fell in love with black ops 2 and i thought black ops 2 was by far the best call of duty game and of course i really enjoy black ops 3 and black ops 4 i actually really love that game as well and i thought i literally thought from black ops 1 
to Black Ops 2, to Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. They were all very, very, very well done. But that's just me, guys. You know, people like the Modern Warfare franchise. Yikes, but, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, this is just a rumor, guys. Just take it all with a pinch of salt, but hopefully I'll have more in the coming weeks and months leading up to the next Call of Duty game, which hopefully is this game. What's been confirmed anyway, as of now, is Treyarch is taking the lead in development and Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games are just support directors for or support developers for this. But yeah, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you did like it. If you did, please hit the like button. Up near in the YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button. Right beside that subscribe button, there is... A bell notification to stay up to date whenever I upload or even whenever I go live on the channel which is rare now speaking of live streams I try and live stream every now and then on twitch and my twitch will actually be down in the link in the description below when you're on my twitch you can hit the follow button and right beside the follow button there is another notification bell and you can stay up to date whenever I go live on that it'll send you a, a notification that hey Lord Originals has now gone live go check them out uh, i also have a twitter which i manually update as well uh link to that would be in the description below as well once you're there you can hit the follow button you don't really have to hit the uh the notification bell because i retweet and like a lot of stuff but yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite subscribe and peace